Hello, Super Coders! Welcome back to another exciting adventure! Today, we're going on a thrilling treasure hunt! Meet our hero, Atlas, who's on a mission to find a hidden treasure. But here's the twist. The treasure is buried deep, and Atlas needs your help to find it. Are you ready for the challenge? So, the goal of this game is pretty simple. Help Atlas find the treasure in under 30 seconds. If he finds it, he wins the game. But if time runs out, well, he loses. Here's what we need to get started. A background that's perfect for a treasure hunt. I've chosen a map background for our adventure setting. A boy sprite for Atlas. This will be our hero who's searching for the treasure. A guide sprite. This helpful old man will give us clues about how close or far Atlas is from the treasure. A treasure chest sprite. The treasure is hidden here. Once you've added all of these sprites to your project, we can start coding. Let's start coding the treasure chest. We want the treasure to be placed randomly every time the game starts. So here's what we do. Add a block that says, when green flag clicked. This means every time we start the game, the treasure chest will be reset. Next, use the block, go to random position. This will make the treasure chest appear in a random spot on the screen every time the game begins. But we don't want the treasure chest to be visible right away, do we? We want the players to search for it. So, we use the set ghost effect to 100 block from the looks category. This makes the treasure chest invisible at the start of the game. Now comes the fun part, the interaction. We want to check if Atlas is touching the treasure chest, and when he clicks on it, the game should end. Here's how we can do that. Inside a forever loop, we'll add an if block to check if the mouse is clicked. If the mouse is down, we check if Atlas is touching the treasure chest using an if else block. boy touches the treasure chest, we do the following. First, make the treasure chest visible by setting the ghost effect to zero. Then, broadcast the message win to let everyone know that Atlas found the treasure. But if Atlas isn't touching the treasure chest, broadcast a message check distance so that the guide can give a clue about how far or near Atlas is. Next, let's make the guide give us some helpful clues based on how close Atlas is to the treasure chest. We need to calculate the distance between Atlas and the treasure and provide hints along the way. Start by using the when I receive check distance block, which triggers when the guide gets the message that Atlas hasn't found the treasure yet. Inside a forever loop, add an if else block to check the distance between Atlas and the treasure. treasure chest block for this. Here are the clues. If the distance is less than 50 units, broadcast the message too close to warn Atlas. know he's getting closer. distance is more than 150, broadcast too far to tell Atlas he's way off course. Go to the events category. Drag the when I receive too close block onto the coding area. 
Now, go to the Lips category. Drag the Say Hello for Two Seconds block and attach it to the event. Change the text to You Are Close and set the time to one second. Again, go to Events and grab another When I Receive Far Away block. Go to Looks and drag the Say Hello for Two Seconds block. Change the text to You Are Far Away and set the time to one second. Grab another When I Receive Warmer block from Events. Go to Looks and add another Say Hello for Two Seconds block. Change the text to You Are Getting Warmer and set the time to one second. We want the boy sprite, Atlas, to follow the mouse pointer continuously during the game. This will make it feel like the player is controlling the boy by moving the mouse. Add, when green flag clicked, add forever loop. Inside the forever loop, we want the boy sprite to continuously follow the mouse pointer. This loop ensures that as long as the game is running, the boy will stay in sync with the mouse. Go to mouse pointer. The go to mouse pointer block makes the boy sprite move to wherever the mouse pointer is on the screen. This block will make the boy follow the mouse. Time is ticking. Atlas has only 30 seconds to find the treasure. So let's add a timer to our game. Create a variable called time left and set it to 30 seconds at the start of the game. Use a repeat until block to check if the timer reaches zero. Inside the loop, add a wait one second block and decrease the time left by one every second. When the time reaches zero, broadcast the message game over to let the player know the time is up. We can use this background as both the winning and losing screen by simply changing the displayed sprite. But first, let's set up our starting game background properly. Grab the when green flag clicked block from the events category. Go to Looks and add the Switch Backdrop to Map block. Now, whenever the game starts, the background will be set to the map. Now, let's set up Winding Backdrop. Grab the When I Receive Win block from Events. Go to Looks and add the Switch Backdrop to Background 2 block. This will display the winning background when the player wins. So next, add a trophy sprite to the stage. Now, let's add some code to control when it appears. At the beginning of the game, we don't want to show the trophy, so add the when green flag clicked block. Go to looks and add the hide block. When the player wins, grab the when I receive win block and add the show block. Now, the trophy will only appear when the player wins. Add the losing screen also. To show a losing message, we can add a sad emoji sprite. Let's code it. Grab the when green flag clicked block and add the hide block so the emoji is hidden at the start. When the player loses, grab when I receive a game over and add show. Now let's test it out. And that's it. Now you have a fully functional treasure hunt game. Atlas needs your help to find the treasure, and the guide is there to give helpful clues along the way. Can you find the treasure before time runs out? If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun and educational Scratch games. And remember, you can always customize this game to make it your own. Add new challenges, effects, or even a new storyline. Thank you for coding with us, Super Coders! See you next time for another exciting game! Happy coding!